all right so bolt version 2 is here and it is a complete game changer so if you have been getting endless loops of bugs as you wipe code or build something using ai then this might be the solution that you're looking for so we have a lot of AI coding tools floating around, right? For example, we have tool, browser based tools like Lowable, V0, Replit, Bolt version 1, which are good for creating simple apps and MVPs right from your web browser. And on the other hand, we have even more advanced tools like, let's say, Cursor, Cloud Code, Gemini CLI, which is actually used for building and shipping production ready apps. And a Bolt version 2 brings best of both worlds into your web browser. And you'll be surprised to know that all new version of Bolt actually uses Cloud Code under the hood. And yes, you heard it correct, Cloud Code on your web browser. And not just that, all new Bolt also comes with Bolt Cloud, allowing you to add real authentication database and other production level features without relying on any third party tools. So pretty much everything happens right within Bolt.new. And today in this video, I'll show you the all new Bolt.new with Cloud Code in action and how to use it and what are the new features available within it. So let's quickly get started. So here I have opened up the newest version of Bolt. And if I click on this drop down menu right here, as you can see, here we have an option to select the assistant and here we have Cloud Agent. So basically Cloud Code. So it says advanced agent developed by Anthropic, ideal for working with larger code base and it is extremely good when it comes to context management and it's also really good when it comes to speed as well. And an earlier version of Bolt used to, to use this one right here that is V1 agent. So if you still want to use that, you have total control over it and you can select V1 agent. But in this video, we'll be using Cloud agent or Cloud code in particular. So I'll select the option. And again, if you already know about Cloud code, then you might already know that it is a CLI tool, right? So you have to use Cloud code within your terminal. And now the thing about Cloud code is that Cloud code is extremely good at coding. But the only issue is that you will have to use it within your terminal instance. So you don't get that nice UI or anything as such. You have to interact with the agent and do everything all within a terminal. And that's one thing that is pulling back a lot of people, especially if you are from the no code background. I know what Bolt.new have did is that they integrated Cloud Code right into Bolt.new, meaning that you can use Cloud Code right within Bolt.new from your web browser. So you don't have to touch your terminal anymore. And again, to quickly get started, all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to bolt.new and you can sign up for a new account and start using it. And again, as you can see, here we have an input box and all you gotta do is to just explain what kind of app you want to build in here and hit enter. So first of all, I'll try building something and along the way, I'll explain all the features that Bolt version 2 has to offer. So first of all, I'll begin with a prompt something like this. And it says, I want to build a website like Airbnb where people can list their property and customers can read it out. So I want you to create a full stack app that lets users do everything like where homeowners can list their property and also regular customers can view and book the property. And now this writer is the initial prompt I'll begin with. And now I'll select Cloud Code. And again, if you want to attach files for reference like images or anything, you can click on this plus button right here and upload those files. And now I'll click on this send button. And there you go. As you can see, it says, I'll help you build a full stack property rental platform similar to Airbnb. So this is a complex application that will require multiple components, authentication and database design. And again, you also have the option to see all the plan in here. So currently it is designing and creating the database schema and also applying the database migration. And then we have a to do for setting up the authentication system for users, then create user registration and login components, build property listing form, create property browsing and search interface, then implement property detail view with booking. Okay, build user dashboard, booking management system. And finally, it has also planned to run type checks and build verification. And now the thing is that every time you work with Bolt, after giving you initial prompt, obviously the AI or let's say Cloud Code within Bolt will create a plan, right? And again, you get full access and you can actually view the actual plan in here. And as you can see, Bolt is currently making all the changes, creating all these new files. So it will take some time. So I'll wait till it is done and I'll see you afterwards. Okay, so we are almost there and it says running type checks and build verification. And currently it is running some TypeScript type checking. All right. So it is now ri done writing all the code and now it is running some checks and it seems like it has found some issues and it is making all the changes uh, to fix all these issues. So as you can see, it is currently editing the header file, dashboard file. So yeah, let's wait for it. Right now it says I'll refactor these files to improve code quality by breaking them down into smaller, more manageable components with clear separation of concerns. And again, I did not do anything. So Bolt itself has found that there are a lot of files that needs to be broken down and it is doing all the refactoring works all by itself. So it should be done in a few seconds is what I believe. As you can see, it is building the project. 
okay plan completed let's see so as you can see this right here is the airbnb styled rented marketplace platform that bolt has created based on our initial prompt so this right here is the home page and it says find your perfect stay and towards the top we have the option to search for destination select the date number of guests and we can search for it and we have some filter options in here and for the time being the ai has even added some dummy listings in here as well okay and again all these cards actually look really good for example let's say select this one right here modern downtown apartment and here we have three images towards the right side we have the reserve now option and again we have all these ratings apartments okay about this place details all right so the initial version of our app is now done okay i can browse around and next up let's just say i want to let's say book one of these properties for that i can find a button that says reserve now and again i can also find the pricing so let me try clicking on the same and it says okay i need to select my check-in date okay let me select all of that let's say to guest and click on confirm booking and now it says please log in to make a booking of course i'm not logged in and the cool thing here is that bolt has already added a database and also configured authentication for our app so towards the top i can find an option that says sign in and sign up and if i click on the sign up option it is asking me to enter all these details like full name email and password for example i could enter some details for the time being and also let's say a password and if i click on sign up button it says creating account all right okay i'm now logged in and as you can see here we have the dashboard option profile option and also sign out option and if i click on this database option right here it now opens up the database and as you can see here we have user profiles properties property images payments reviews and bookings and if i click on user profiles you'll be able to find the account that we just created okay there you go astro joseph full name avatar url okay all of these details are not uh, entered for the time being but again as you can see even without we having to do anything we just gave our initial prompt and bolt itself actually created a database and created all these tables and also columns and again here we have the properties table okay for the time being we don't really have any records in here in which ways okay so i was able to log into my app and if i let's say go to the dashboard all right so this right here is the dashboard and it seems like we have some dummy data for the time being no issues in which case let's just try to book one of these properties for example let's say modern downtown apartment i'll click on reserve now let's say 28 30 two guests maybe confirm booking and it says failed to create booking please try again okay so it seems like we have some issue but no issues i'll go ahead and give follow prompt and ask bolt to fix it and now i'll just paste the same in here and i'll click on send so here i have given an updated prompt and let's wait for the ai to fix it first all right so all the errors are now fixed so the initial the reason for the initial error was that we had all these dummy properties on the screen and they were not actual data in the database so the ai has actually went ahead and filled in some dummy data or let's say property listing for us to reserve and after that all these properties had the same image so i gave a follow-up prompt asking the ai to just use different images for all these uh, listings and here everything is now done and again if i head over to the database right now and if i open the properties uh, table right here i'll be able to find all the properties that is currently listed on the page as you can see here we have the id owner id title description all this information can be found in here and again if i head back here we have property images and we have all these details and for the time being it is actually using images from pexels by the way so yeah pretty much everything is in here and it seems like here we have a working version of the app and now for example let's try to book this cosy downtown apartment 150 dollars a night i'll click on reserve now select a date checkout date and i'll click on confirm booking and it says booking confirmed payment will be made directly at the property all right and next up if i want to let's say list a property i can click on this list property button towards the top and it is asking us to fill in some details for example property title a tiny cozy house next up let's just enter a description type is going to be house max guest all of that looks good okay next up i need to enter the street address and select all these amenities and for the time being i filled in some dummy details and also select some of these options from here and i'll click on next and next up the price per night is 150 dollars and cleaning fee would be let's say 75 house rules let's say keep the place clean and right now we have the option to add the image url and maybe i can open the link of a 
let's say image so right click copy image link and i'll paste the same in here and now i'll click on publish property so i just added the new property and if i scroll down there you go here we have a tiny cozy house that we just entered right now and here we have all these amenities that we selected and house rules and we have the reserve option and if i click on reserve now pretty much everything works so we have all the basic features that we asked for and pretty much everything is implemented so anyone can visit our website and search for let's say usa for the time being and if i hit enter it will list only properties that are within the us and if i let's say search for dubai as you can see here we have tiny cozy house again and almost all the features that we asked for is indeed working right and again if i click on this database option right here as you can see i'll be able to find all the property listings in here and again all these database tables are created by bolt all by itself and if i go to the authentication settings right here i'll be able to allow new users to sign up and if i want to enable anonymous signups if i want to i can actually enable this option and as of now we have only enabled sign in with email and password and if you want to enable confirm email option you can do that from here and now i head back and if i go to the general settings here i'll be able to change the name of the project select the agent so as of now we are keeping it as cloud agent and you also have the option to select the project visibility and we have private secret and public options and next up we have domains and hosting so after we publish the project we can actually add a domain and hosting here we have analytics and then we have database okay authentication server functions so here you can find all the server functions or edge functions via superbase that are currently active in our app then if we go to the secret section right here we'll be able to add all these secrets for example you could add your open ai api key or let's say stripe api key and for the time being we can find all our superbase related uh, api keys or let's say secrets in here and if i go to user management i'll be able to find the list of users that we currently have within our app next up we have file storage knowledge backups and then we have all the settings up in here and now that we have the basic version of the app working we can go ahead and click on this publish button towards the top right and it says your app is not published yet and if i click on this publish button it sends a new prompt and it says publish this application and now what happens is that right now we have a working version of the app ready and again if you want to add any new features into your app you can simply go ahead and ask bolt and bolt will gladly do it for you and now after you are done with it if you click on this publish option right here you can instantly publish your app and make it live on the internet and as you can see it says your site has been published successfully and you can view it at this address right here so let me open it up okay property rental mark okay that's a subdomain and there you go here we have the app and again we have the sign in option we have the sign up functionality and pretty much everything is in here and again you also have the option to set up a custom domain by either purchasing a new domain or use a domain that you already own and now if i click on this database icon and if i go to domain and hosting as you can see this right here is our bolt subdomain for the time being but if you already have a domain you can click on this button that says connect a domain you own enter your domain in here do the verification and after that you can map it out in here and again if you click on this buy a new domain option for example let's say a rental host hosty yeah and if i click on search i'll be able to see all these domains and for example let's say i want to buy rentalhosty.com i can click on this buy button and then i can complete the purchase and then link this to this particular project and if i go to analytics i'll be able to find the usage metrics for this particular project okay we can find unique visitors page views top pages bandwidth and all other details and just like this you can also create your own apps in just a couple of minutes and the biggest upgrade when it comes to bolt.new or version 2.0 is the cloud code integration right now you're getting the option to use cloud code directly from your web browser and now just as to make sure everything works i'll go ahead and try to sign up for a new account and as for the name let's say james and as for email let's say james at james.com let's give a random password and i'll click on sign up and since we don't have email verification enabled i'm directly logged in and now if i go to let's say my dashboard as you can see i don't have any bookings no listings and no earnings and let's try to book a property real quick for example let's say cozy downtown apartment i'll click on reserve now let's put the date checkout date click on confirm and it says confirm i mean booking is confirmed and now if i go to let's say my dashboard 
there you go in the booking section i can find the newly created booking and it says confirmed okay so the core feature of our app is indeed working and if james or the person who actually signed up on our platform right now want to list their property well they can head over to the list property option give all these basic information and list their property on our platform as well so as you saw this is how simple it is to create a fully functional web app completely using ai or let's say using bold.new and again the interesting thing is that you are now getting to use cloud code directly from your web browser and no you don't have to install cloud code locally on your computer and open terminal and interact with you know, you know that terminal kind of instance now everything happens right within your web browser and again if you do want to let's say create web apps like this all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below head over to bolt.new sign up for a new account and you can start using cloud agent and again open ai's cortex is also coming pretty soon and yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video and now two of my personal favorite features of all new bolt.new has to be of course the first one is cloud agent and the second is bolt cloud and now i no longer have to let's say rely on third party services to implement a full fledged database or authentication i mean under the hood bolt still uses superbase but i don't really have to directly interact with superbase all i have to do is to just explain what kind of app i want to build and bolt itself will take the decision as to what are the tables that are needed to be included within the app what kind of authentication and all that and it will actually use superbase under the hood and do it everything for me i no longer have to create or let's say new sign up for a new account at superbase or link my project do or do anything as such and again bolt also allows you to link to netlify superbase if you want to or let's say stripe or github and all that as well and again if you do want to try the latest bolt 2.0 update all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below head over to bolt.new sign up for a new account and you can start using it right away and make sure to select the option that says cloud agent to use cloud code right within bolt.new and again i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one